entertaining the idea of going to India for a month later this year to get my yoga teacher cert. I want to go for my 200 hour yoga teacher training. I think I'm actually going to do it. I feel committed already and I feel like it's just going to happen, you know? It's affordable for me and it sounds challenging, but it sounds like a good challenge because I love yoga and I want to learn yoga, especially I want to learn it from like where it originated from. So it's a fun little thing to plan now. Okay, it's getting real. I just got off the phone with someone from the Yoga Teacher Training Institute in Rishikesh, India. And I asked her a bunch of questions that I had and on the phone she was literally like, this must be your first time because everybody's first time coming to India, they always have so many questions. So I'm like, yeah, it is my first time and I am gonna ask all my questions because I literally need to make sure I feel like safe and know what I'm getting myself into, so just now i have to decide what month i want to go because if i go during the summer months it's gonna be really hot i'm gonna have to do multi-style which is hatha and ashtanga and i don't really like the sound of hatha it might be good to get experience in both hatha and ashtanga and i was planning on going in the summer so now i'm like mm. hey me and isa got our tickets to india last week right before we took a dance class at a sushi place and it's real it's real we're going for the whole month of August. We leave July 30th, I believe. We were supposed to land in Delhi, but we had to do an emergency landing because of the bad weather. So we did an emergency landing in Jaipur and that's when everything started going wrong. We were stuck waiting on the plane for almost five hours to get off. And then when we got off, they couldn't take our luggage off due to not having the correct staff at that airport. Obviously this is not how I imagined landing in India would be like, but we were just trying our best to stay positive. I had none of my belongings. So first thing, we just tried to find some clothes. We took a flight from Jaipur to Dehradun, which is closer to Rishikesh. It was definitely overwhelming trying to figure out everything with the luggage. Thankfully, I was tired and slept through the flight. We got picked up from the airport with a sign, which was really cool because I've never had that happen before. But I absolutely loved the drive from the airport into Rishikesh because I just was staring out the window and enjoying myself. I didn't come into this experience with a lot of expectations at all. I wasn't sure what exactly I was walking into. I had an idea. I was just mesmerized by the colors and the culture. It's so different from my day-to-day -day life, which is why I love traveling and why I think it's so important to step out of your regular everyday bubble and see life from a different lens, a different perspective and opening your perception up a little bit. For example, I was just so amazed by the way they drive. Like it's a video game. Everybody's in the same lanes, all the scooties and the cars and the people. It's actually so impressive to see how they don't crash into each other and they use their horn kind of as like a warning. Now it's time to get serious. Since we didn't have our luggage, we had to go and shop around at all the stores locally, which made us definitely an interesting first introduction to the surroundings. Right off the bat, I was super excited to see all the nature and animals. Rishikesh is located in the foothills of the Himalayas, so it's just surrounded by mountains, which is just so beautiful. There was no AC in my room and the fan was super loud, so please excuse the audio, I tried to fix it. It's day one of the classes, it's currently 6.15.
the first class is at 6.30, which is going to be a vinyasa ashtanga flow, and followed by like, the opening ceremony. Um, I wish I could say that I'm excited, but I really am just like going through it. Like I feel so sick. My head has been pounding for the past two days. My throat kind of hurts, and I'm just like congested in my nose and my eyes. And then I don't have my luggage. So I'm like so out of comfort. And I got these clothes from like this random place down the street. <gasps> so I just like don't feel comfortable at all. And I, it's crazy because I packed so much clothes. I am a personal trainer, so I have so much workout clothes and I packed so much. I feel like it was like so ironic and like a lesson. I don't know, kind of. But I'm stuck here with none of my own clothes and none of my own, like, necessities. And it's just, like, it's just annoying. <laughs> I'm trying not to be negative, but me not feeling well, paired with not having any of my luggage, is a challenge. It's very difficult to just get past. I'm just going to take some Advil right now because my head is just pounding. And then hopefully I can, like, get through the morning class because it's an hour and a half. It's from 6.30 to 8. But I'll show you. The place is so cute. the view outside of my window, which I actually really love. We were told to wear all white for the opening fire ceremony, which is called Havan. Guess what? Luggage! Oh my god, these monkeys. I just had to close my door really quick because I was scared they saw the luggage and wanted to take it. Oh my god, I'm so, so thankful. This is day four, and I don't have any, any of my luggage until now, so. I was so itchy last night. I was sleeping, and I got so sweaty and itchy. And I was, like, sweating so much. I literally put my towel under me to sleep because it was so hot in here. But let's open the freaking suitcase. I don't know, I need my scissors. This is key.
This is so amazing. My room is a mess right now, but I'm so excited for all my luggage. I bought all this food and the necessities, toiletries, and then all my clothes. Oh, I'm so excited. I just finished unpacking, so I got all my clothes over here. I put my suitcase in here. I have some things that I need out, and then some things I'm gonna wear. Necessities, peanut butter, my books, all my vitamins. I'm taking vitamin C, B12, a probiotic, and then a digestive enzyme type of thing. I have my light and my fan. Yay. My necessities. Yay. Spider-Man towel, but that's okay. I just got the thinnest towel I found, but I have wipes too. Yeah. And also what I was most excited for, my flip-flops to shower in and my fake burks to wear so that I don't have to wear my sneakers. The room looks like a, with the lamp. Cute, cute. I'm sweating. I'm gonna go shower and wash my hair and buy like my skincare routine. I'm gonna walk around my room naked. Don't tell anybody. But like, it's hot, so this is what feels good for me. And I also bought my own pillowcase that I just put on my pillow. Yeah. Let's go. This place is so cute. Sundays was our only off days, and that's when we would go on excursions and explore.
After a full day of exploring, we went to watch the Arti at the Ganga Bank. This was definitely one of my top moments of the entire trip. I loved it so much. Get in my room again with both my fans on because it's just it's hot in here but today was a really great day one of my new friend Pew's birthday we had some cake to celebrate her after dinner <laughs> And we ended up dancing. We just were dancing our hearts out to Punjabi, bachata, Cuban, some drill music. We were just playing like all of our favorite music to dance to. And it was just really cool and fun. And I had such a great time. And I didn't realize how much I miss dance already. It's funny because I was like, I feel like I probably will be exhausted like doing all this yoga, which I'm not exhausted because. I think it's balanced really well with like the meditation which is very calming and so I don't feel too too exhausted but I am so exhausted feeling so sore my body is like asking me to slow down that's saying that we haven't really started the real Ashtanga series yet this is still like kind of a warm-up I was thinking last night that I missed dance and I didn't expect that to come so soon if it did come this is my sunset lamp that I bought along just because I thought it might make the vibes better. Me and my little fan. This fan is like my best friend now. I just like sit by it every time I'm around. Yeah, I had so much fun dancing and it's so amazing making like new friends, meeting new people that are like-minded. I'm just feeling very grateful to be able to be experiencing this and just the fact that no matter where you are in the world, you can meet people that you understand or that you vibe with. And it just feels really fun and cool to connect with people on this side of the world. I don't know. Our uh, Hatha yoga teacher started dancing with us when we were dancing to some traditional Indian music. And it was just, I don't know, it was just so good, like freeing and fun energy. It's so beautiful sharing that with people like from across the world, you know. Anyway, that's my piece for today. I'm gonna journal about that a little bit and then go to sleep. It's my little nightstand, my books and my probiotics and stuff. It's getting that time to go to sleep. So I'll talk to you when I talk to you.